The armored recon just uses normal light tanks. At, le at least according to this, it just takes normal light tanks. It doesn't take light flame tank. I think it just takes normal light tanks. Well, I will see. Tank destroyer. Artillery anti-air. Yeah, there's no... um. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're making the basic tanks here. These are going to be for the support companies. And then you are for the flame tanks. Also, apparently you don't get the Fiat. You don't you don't get the tank company, apparently. Okay. What are we not making? I'm going to acquire for light tank. Am I not producing? Is this not... Light flame tank. Basic light flame tank. Are you not a flame tank? Flame support company. Okay, I think, I think the game was just confused for a second. Looks like we're all good. Okay, let's crush these remaining troops. Bring you all back before the fight for Milan. And I'm assuming you are now getting ready for the war. You are... We don't have gear. What, actually, wait. What's garrisoning? No, that's way too expensive. Use... Do we not have a basic... I mean, I guess tanks are... Yeah, fuck it. Let's use these tanks then. No. We don't actually have enough tanks. We do not have enough tanks for that. No, we do not. Okay. Um... We actually don't have a basic... Replace you all with, um, cavalry. Wait, how many of these units do we have? One of them? Okay, who cares? Replace you with cavalry. That's usually the most... It's not the most efficient, but it's the cheapest. For, um... For what we want. Yes, there we go. Rumor has that Switzerland's going to join the war against you. I mean, they shouldn't. They are... They're socialists. Most efficient armored cars. Yeah, but I don't think we have armored cars researched. See, this this is more like it. 20,000, 86,000. Okay, put everything you have into Milan. 82... 256 is the cap. We're slightly over the cap, but not by too much. Okay, units are pulling out. I'm going to force attack. Just to make sure these guys cannot reinforce this province. Look at the soft attack on the battle. I mean, that's pretty good. We are still crossing a river, and we're over the combat way. We're really caught. There, this whole fucking area just rivers. <laughs> no, yeah, no, but this would be really good. Once we're also not at night, not crossing a river, it'll be pretty good. Also, you're now last standing. So be it. You last stand. Okay, there's second vehicle tree beginning now. That's why nine threes are good. You know, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. Keep the pressure here. Make sure the combat width stays high. The game audio just muted itself? I'm not too sure what's happening. <laughs> there we go. You just had to zoom out, zoom back in. Don't really know what that was all about, but that's okay. Okay, you're at 86. Just leave. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, anti air. 87. We have. I think our cavalry division might die, but who cares? We've got two more days left on this. But I mean, even if they reinforce, there's Milan. So we didn't quite win before the second Vilkrieg. But I mean, we got pretty close. 
We almost got there. Okay, deploy you here. Ready to go to war against the Austrians. Austria has not... Here's the thing. Austria has not um, unified yet. Because I think they're probably... They're not doing military occupation or doing... Um, what are the Nubian Federation ones called? I guess it'll be actually United States of Greater Austria. They're doing things we don't want them to do, basically. Let's put it like that. Let's restore order here. And we'll unite Italy. Italy is united! At long last, Italy has been united and the revolution has spread to every corner of the peninsula. Today is a great day and we shall consider a national holiday. Let all Italians rejoice now that Italy is united. Change your army to the 9-3s. They should be 9-3 already. I think I already did that. 5-9-3. Yeah. Move some units. 24-9-3 should be enough. Well, we have more 9-3s here. Thing is, they're, they're just kind of green right now. What are you missing? Flame tanks. Fair enough. And artillery. Okay. The ones on the field. You want me to change? Oh, yeah, I guess we can. Um, get a Guardian Rosa. Let's switch you out to be the better units. We'll keep the motorized for now. Does Officer Corfum's no step back work? Um, you have these options, but the other ones aren't here. So you got to um, just like the marshal replace everybody. Before we do that, fuel consumption minus five percent. That's pretty good. Give me logistics here, and then go for. Cavalry's ass. I guess let's go for the entrenchment speed. I mean, if I was to change everybody over. Five thousand. We have enough guns. Easily. Tanks are a bit of an issue. We gain motorized back. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Why not? So we have 23,000 rifles. Okay, we don't need this many guns. Shrink that down just to one for right now. What are we really missing? Artillery. Okay, I can go for artillery. Follow that up. Let's hold the 5th Congress. Um, we have two research slots. Let's go for proximity cap on you as well as concentrate industry. I mean, actually, we, we do have one. Yeah, we do. We do have one for. Uh, where is it? We do have ideological loyalty, which is a 500 weekly manpower, but. I don't think 500 manpower is enough to really justify it. Okay. Russia has now intervened in the Vilkrieg. You apparently Ukraine's actually not in a faction. Okay. You can tax her in. You can join the international. Let's core core. Join the international. Immediately join the second Vilkrieg. That would allow us now. To get war support or war economy. Yeah, we're already at war with everybody here. So, Orange Army. Or you might be brown. I'm really not too sure. It's time to redeploy you. I think, I mean, I'm looking at this. This seems like the right place for you to be. And you guys are just preparing for the war. The inevitable inf uh, conflict with Austria. I think Ukraine shouldn't last that long because, again, they're getting no Reichspack support. Because they declared an independence of the Reichspack the moment Russia declared war on them. We'll see how that goes, basically. Hungston, get that. Probably, I'm going to say Austria is probably not a great trade partner there. I guess we'll get it from the British. Seems good. Yeah, my main... I think our main adversary right now is the Austrians. 
I don't believe that um, Serbia and Romania they can't they can't really kill most of your artillery industry to artillery. You're too gay behind. You know you're, you're not wrong about that. How expensive? Or well, reinforcements at five twelve. Okay, that's like a year. Fighters will take you down to two. The flame tanks I still want to get more of. And total anti air actually cancel you for a second. Can I even put anti-air here? Minus 201. Okay, for right now, we'll just let it kind of sit. Actually, the tank divisions... Get rid of the artillery here. That'll save us some. Now we're at 1.6. Maybe we should get more ports. The return of the Champagne Commune. Our government has scored a minor diplomatic tri triumph as Switzerland has recently decided to return Champagne, a formerly Italian exclave in Tenincio, back to us. The lakeside commune in question was temporarily put under Swiss protection during the start of the Italian Civil War in 1919. Now that our country is reunified again, the Swiss have no reason to keep Champagne away from us any longer. Look at power, manpower, stability. You know, I'm happy with all those. Our stability is shit, but that's okay. But now that Austria is unifying, that does make it harder. Santiago. Okay, it looks like Austria is, or Argentina. Yeah, they're going to win their war in the south. But how's, how's America doing? Yeah, stalemated mostly. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, where is there a weak point right now? In... Well, what if we attack Finland? The guaranteed by Germany doesn't really mean much for us. We could send troops to... We, we, we could send troops to Russia and use them to kill off Ukraine and Finland because they're not in the Reichstag. They'll just capitulate normally. No, we're not, we're not at war with them. We're not even at war actually with Ukraine. Attacking them doesn't do anything for us. Killing Argentina. Okay, Argentina's won their war. I'm trying to think, like, where is the best place? I mean, maybe... Maybe just prepare... Uh, prepare an evil invasion. Sending volunteers. You have puppet states. I mean, we could just attack Austria right away. Because if you attack Austria, they don't join the Reichspact. They stay as their own unique faction. Which could, I think, keep them weaker. Because they won't actually be able to join Germany, I think. Try to remember, ex try to remember exactly. Can't revolution Chile. To take a hit as it being an offensive. I think we're already in an offensive war. Yeah. The, the, the second Ville Creek is considered an offensive war from our point of view. You're pushing away to Metz. I mean, I'm assuming the Austrians probably have this whole area. You don't actually have this whole area guarded. Delete this. Move, your, move up here. Did like a new focus tree? Um, I don't really. Th I new is subjective. I think that I think this tree's been updated like two, three years ago, two, three years ago. So not really new. <laughs> Tungsten. More from the British. I mean, I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about Austria. But Austria... I mean, if you just... Hmm. How many troops does Russia have? 45 to 181. Not that great. Not that great. 
going to translate what this says in chat because I don't know what that means. Uh, it, uh, translate. <laughs> Just play with your mom. <laughs> okay. Trial for the reaction. Okay, Poland shouldn't right expect that's fine. Trial for the reactionary leaders. With our victory over the reactionary forces, the leader of the corrupt republic and the noble leaders of the despotic kingdoms are standing trial. Some want us to be lenient with them, while others want us to be harsh and make an example. Get some support. Not nah, give me some political power. Let's let's be harsh. Follow that up with uh We're getting more cores. I'm not... I'm wondering if I want, would it make sense to, instead of going war with Austria, try to invade the Entente right away? Like, how many troops did the Entente have? Th 15 to 36. Let's take, let's take a quick st scout of the French coast. They actually don't have Algeria defended. Can you help the Ottoman Empire? No. The Ottoman Empire, they're, they're past the point of savior. I think we can maybe land in Algeria right away. It'll be tricky. Go from here straight to Algiers. Make a landing in um in French territory. They're going to go to war with us eventually anyways. I would prefer to for it to be a first strike. The 5th Congress! Today, the 5th Congress of the Social Republic of Italy begins. Delegates from all unions across Italy have convened for the Congress. It will be first held in Rome in a, in a united Italy. Celebration are being held throughout the nation, and Rome in particular, in honor of this momentous event. Fate of the Pope. It's not over. We get iridescent decisions to claim territory. Get some more support. Sure, why not? How long will this invasion take? We got a 34 days. I think I know like seven divisions is not gonna last a long time, but we should hopefully get some support from our allies. And I'm willing to cut Blue Army in half. How many boats? Okay, how many boats do, the, do you guys have? 58 to 105. Fate of the Pope! One of the first issues of the agenda is what to do uh, with the Pope. The Partio Social Italiano argues that the government should have no business interfering with the Catholic Church, and the Pope should be left alone. The Union Sinic Lada believe that the throne of St. Peter should be occupied by a socialist. Finally, Union Nationale argues that the office of the papacy is outdated and the Pope should be exiled. What shall be the decision of the Congress? We get some stability. You know what? Give me that stability. Leave the church alone. I'm, our stability is kind of ass, so... This is an Adama Keys project. That would require us, I'm assuming, to have some sort of upgrade here. <laughs> I'm sorry, your message came a little bit too late. Okay, seven more days we can do another invasion. Ban the Pope. The internal policy! The second matter of the 5th Congress agenda is how to handle issues of dis dissidents within the Republic. Not all within the Republic are accepting socialism, particularly in the areas where the reactionaries held sway prior to the second, uh, re orgamento. Party of Social argues that it's canceling policy, granting general amnesty, and focusing on building socialism instead of going after dissidents. The Union Syndica believes the propaganda effort to show syndicalist process, combined with the balanced approach of law enforcement, will help change the mind of dissidents. The Nashla, for their part, wants to empower the Ministry of Public Security to clamp down on any dissent against the Republic. War support. Give me the stability, man. Give me the stability. Also, half of you, I want not going into that army. Go here for a moment. So we're going to declare war on Sardinia. That is not going to immediately get us at war with the French Republic. Actually, let's take a quick look at Sardinia. I'm assuming they have 3 to 11 divisions. Italy's place on the world stage! The next order of Congress to decide what role the Socialist Republic of Italy shall play in the international and on the world stage. Until the second reorgamento, the Republic is focused on reuniting Italy. But now that goal has been achieved, Italy's political future must be determined. The Union National, but the Italy should focus on spreading revolution across all corners of the world. 
while the Union Cine Club believes the focus should be first on Europe. Finally, the Party of Social Italia believes Italy's role should be helped to nurture social within Italy and members of the International first. You're learning English speak very fast. I mean, what gives me stability? Well, nurture, social nurture socialism. Okay, you just gonna warn the Dutch? Honestly, they probably deserve it. Develop coal mines. You know what? Give me a... I've never seen this one before. Let's create that agency. Again, how many troops do you have? 12 to 31. It looks like we might have some areas able to rise up in the south. Okay, the Dutch are joined the Reich's Pact. We have three research slots open. Let's go for military police. Following that, go for 41 construction and give me 39 on you. And there, the party Socialista Italiano declared victory. Okay, so they've achieved the majority and are now in charge of the government. They must now determine who will, uh, who is to lead the country. So we have a bunch of options. Um, the Nomad, okay, uh, Factory Output, ooh, Factory Output's pretty good. We'll go with you. Congratulations. They got a lot of units here, the Dutch are on their way. Uh, they are about to take Munich. That's actually really bad. Here's the thing, when Munich is taken, Austria is immediately going to declare war. Soon, okay, so ready 20 hours from now. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta prepare for this. So France, congratulations, you get to live another day. Um, because I got to go prepare for the war against the Austrians. Okay, Munich is fallen. And in just a moment, come on Austria, you're gonna press the button. There they are, okay. And they join the Reich's Pact. It means that Bulgaria is now in the Reich's Pact. It means the Reich's Pact, they're looking pretty good. The pretty good looking Reich's Pact. Thing is, that's bad for me. Okay, so you've taken Crimea. Azerbaijan's fallen. Okay, excellent. It's going to free Russian troops up a little bit. And you are in the close of here, so we don't need to worry about you um, going to war with Germany. At least not right away. How many troops do you guys have? It's hard to say, actually. Are you on aggressive? No. Make some maneuvers in Austria. I mean, you get claims, but that doesn't really give us any core, so we're not going to worry about it right now. So if Japan gets... We, we actually do want Japan to get involved. Because there's no real way for Japan and the international to go to war. The, the best way is if um, Hawaii joins the international to go socialist, but I... Don't think that happened as playthrough. I think Hawaii joined the Reich's Pact? No, they joined the Japanese. So, we don't really have anything to worry about there. Okay, Serbia Chetnik Organization declared war on Bulgaria. Keep some pressure up here. I mean, the thing is, like, I do want to kill Austria as quickly as possible. We got some troops. We actually got allies units flooding in here as well. And I think, for the moment, we're going to ignore what's going on with, um, with Germany. Okay, you've now called all your puppet states in. That's not what I want to happen at all. But I think there's a chance we can get an encirclement of all these Austrian troops. And that would be a glorious day for us. Where are, where are our aircraft right now? They're in Austria. You stay here. Okay, we're dislodging you. I mean, can now be a really good encirclement. Yeah, we want to take Pola. We want to take you. Where where are our claims? I mean, I'm going to take them, because why not? 